Since it has come to this, I have no choice but to use brute force! What? What are you going to do? Don't come any closer! Ah! Someone, please help me! Hey, hey, Misa! Yes? What is it? How is the search for the venue of the acquaintance party for the prospective employees? Is it going well? What do you mean, it's going well? Huh? Didn't I ask you to find a place and reserve it? I asked you to search for a venue where 40 people can accommodate. What? Um, no, I, I don't think you told me that. What? Really? Well, I thought I did. Anyways, I guess that means you forgot. Huh? Then go search for a venue right now! What? Wait a second! What is it? We barely have a week until the acquaintance party! It's impossible to find a venue that could accommodate 40 people within one week! No problem, don't worry! What? Why? It's fine, no worries at all, because we're talking about you, Misa! Huh? What do you mean you're talking about me? Because of Misa! You're our elite employee who came to this company as a fresh graduate. Since you're our elite colleague, there's nothing to worry about. I know you can do it. Because you joined this company as a fresh graduate, unlike me. Uh, but... But you really are impressive, Misa. Even I was asked to go and build up my experience and career first at a different company before they will hire me here. I was rejected, unlike you, you know. Since you're such an elite, I'm sure you could do it, Misa. I'm counting on you, okay? Hey, boss! Please wait a second! My name is Misa. I'm a 25-year-old who is being hated by my boss. The reason is, I am a fresh graduate, which is uncommon for this company. While Mrs. Hiramoto was recruited mid-career. I can't believe she's taking it out on me like this. Anyway, I need to do something about the venue for this acquaintance party. This place is also unavailable. This is very stupid. Huh! That freaky bossy boss! The acquaintance party is in a week! How irresponsible of her! There's no way I can find a venue that will accommodate 40 people! Stop! Hey, lady over there! Huh? Let me guess, you're looking for a party venue that you can reserve today, right? Uh, that's right, but... If that's the case, I have just the right solution for you. How about you use our party venue? Huh? The chef of our restaurant garnered three stars, you know. If that restaurant is as great as you say it is, why are you saying that I can make a reservation immediately? Something smells fishy. I doubt what you're saying is true. No need to doubt at all. We just opened. That's why we don't have many customers yet. Yeah, the staffs are quite scary too, though. But aside from that, the food is very scrumptious. Huh? What did you say? Uh, no, it's nothing. Um, I really don't think I want to, so I'll decline. Thank you for your offer, though. Oh no, there's no need to decline. All right then, let me tell you frankly. Frankly, I think that the restaurant you're talking about sounds suspicious, so I will decline your offer. Since it has come to this, I have no choice but to use brute force! What? What are you going to do? Don't come any closer! Ah! Someone! Please help me! Hey! Don't shout and make a scene! Go! What? Ah! Did he put something in my mouth? What? Oh, this is... My dad, I mean, it's the strawberry shortcake that our restaurant chef baked! So delicious! I know, right? Could it be that the chef you're talking about really garnered three stars? If you're doubting, how about you come to our restaurant? Um, yes, sure. Since I couldn't find a venue for the acquaintance party that my evil Bosch pushed onto me last minute, I followed the suspicious person to the restaurant. Usually I don't follow strangers like that, but I got rejected by all the party venues when I called them. And more importantly, the food was very good. That's why I got curious and decided to go for more. Dad! I mean, Master! We have a customer! You guys, let's go! One, two... Welcome! What? Hey, Inazuka! The customer is scared because your face is very scary! Inazuka, it's about that, you know? Inazuka, that's bad! Inazuka, you should smile! Smile! What is it with everyone? Why are you all making it my fault? 
Uzi, come on, man. Hey, G, you. Why just me? Everyone is like this, but mm, we're not scary, right, Subaki? Yes, of course. You're the only one who is scary, Inazuka. Your Highness, I'm sorry we scared you. Uh, n no, it's fine. I'm Masamune Satsuki, the owner and the chef. Thank you for coming today. I'll prepare the food, so please wait here. Um, uh, okay. Dad, I want to eat too. All right. The father? Me too. I am not your father. I will cook something for you too, though. 30 minutes later. All right, food is ready. Here you go. Mm, so delicious. It's good. What do you think of it? It's very delicious. How is it? I know, right? I fell in love with this taste. I am very happy that you understand. Hmm, but I wonder why there are no other customers. I think there's only one reason why. What? Only one reason? Could it be that you know the reason? Um, mm, yes. Wow! You're such a genius! Tsubaki, I think even a grade school student can tell. Oh, please tell me the reason! Uh, too scary. What? Are you talking about how the food looks? No, that's not it. I'm talking about how the staff looks. Ah, that makes sense. I didn't notice at all. Mr. Masamune! What? She said that all you have to do is not be scary. I have a bad feeling about this. 30 minutes later. Mrs. Misa, what do you think about this? Uh, no. Tsubaki, it's very eerie. Yes, I agree. What? Aren't they cute? Bunzi, you think so too, right? Who do you think you're calling Bunzi? Hey! Oh no! Bunzi, don't scare Tsubaki. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I mean, what? What is it, Bunzi? Uh, I am Bunzi. <laughs> hey, she stop laughing! I can't help myself! You're too funny! Hmm. Anyway, since the staff became cute, our restaurant is good, right? They might look scary on the outside, but they look like they're actually good people on the inside. And most importantly, the food is very delicious. Besides, I don't think I will find another place that can accommodate 40 people. All right, I have decided. Please allow me to make a reservation. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We did it. All right, we now have our first ever customer. W what? First ever customer? You're gonna lose if you care. Oh, this is making me anxious. But, well, I'm sure things will turn out fine. Right, I should just force myself to think that things will turn out okay. The next day, Mesa. Oh, Mrs. Hiramoto. Were you able to make a reservation for the venue of the acquaintance party? Yes, I already made a reservation. Tch! Huh? No, it's nothing. Good for you. D just what I expected from, from an elite like you. What's the name of this venue? It's a newly opened restaurant called Emerald. Emerald? Hmm, never heard of that restaurant. Are you sure it'll be all right? I went to check on the place and the food was very delicious. The food tastes very, very delicious. The taste is really good. You're pushing too much on the fact that the food is very delicious. Is there a problem with something? Uh, no, nothing at all. The, the staff all wear very cute costumes that are very relaxing, and the customer service is also excellent. I didn't say any lies, right? Yes. Huh. Well, since you're the one who chose the restaurant, certainly it's a good restaurant. I'll expect a lot from it. Yes, um, please do. Um, all we have to do next is contact the prospective employees, right? That's right. I'll ask you to do that, Misa. Don't screw it up. I knew she would say that. Understood. <sighs> she really hurled everything at me. Mrs. Hiramoto really wouldn't do anything to help. Then several days passed and the day of the acquaintance party arrived. Excuse me. Hello. Nice to see you again. I look forward to today. I mean, what? What are you doing? Huh? What do you mean? I thought that I should make them cuter, so I created the costumes for them. <sighs> they all look like princesses. They all look very pretty, don't they? There's no way that's true! <gasps> Princess Inazuka, what's the matter? 
Please calm down, Princess Inazuka. <laughs> yeah, you should really calm down, Inazuka. Uh, no, I really think this is very strange. No matter how strange it is, if I say do it, you have no choice but to do it. That's the way of the world. But, but... Ah, I forgot to hand you my business card. I work at this company. I look forward to working with you today. Ah, so you work at this company. I look forward to working with you in the future, too. It's about time. Yes, but this is strange. No one has arrived yet. I'll call my boss and check on everyone. Hello? Mrs. Hiramoto? Huh? What? Misa, you. It sounds noisy in the background. I I'm sorry, but I think I have trouble picking up your voice. Misa, I said! Where are you right now? Huh? What do you mean, where am I? I'm at the restaurant called Emerald. Where are you, Mrs. Hiramoto? Why in the world are you there? I'm already at the venue of the acquaintance party. What? You're at the venue of the acquaintance party? That's right! Didn't I tell you to join the acquaintance party too? Well, wait a minute! Isn't the acquaintance party at Emerald? You asked me to make a reservation, so I made a reservation here! What, really? Did I ask you to do that? I don't remember at all. You don't remember? There's no way. There's nothing I can do about it, right? Because I forgot! <laughs> Just kidding, I actually did it on purpose. I thought so. How could you do such a thing? They say that the lion drops his cub into a valley, right? You're an elite, Misa. That's why I purposefully put you to the test. You should try to overcome this level of hardship, Miss Elite. <laughs> With that said, cancel the reservation of that place. W wait a second! What do you mean, cancel the reservation? The food is already prepared, and the cancel fee will be about $4,000! You should at least do something about that! Listen, all the prospective candidates here all hate you! You know why, right? It's because everyone here was recruited mid-career unlike you! Meaning they are jealous of you! That's why everyone agreed to cooperate with me! B but but $4,000 the cancellation fee is a huge amount too, but if I cancel, it would mean that I would betray the people of Emerald Restaurant, who is finally happy to have their first customer. I can't hurt them like this. Misa, we heard everything, you know. What? With all that yelling of the person on the other side of the call, of course we heard everything. Would you please lend me your phone? My phone? What do you mean? Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Try handing the phone to Subaki. Um, okay. Here you go. Hello? Huh? Who are you? Hello. My name is Tsubaki Kasanoin. Huh? Kasanoin? What? Isn't Kasanoin the... Please tell everyone there that the offer will be withdrawn. Of course, you are fired too. <laughs> what? Now I remember. Kasanoin is... Please wait a minute, I, I will go there right away, so please! Huh? Withdrawal of offer? Getting fired? What's happening? Who in the world are you, Mrs. Tsubaki? <laughs> I'm just an ordinary girl, you know. No, you're not ordinary at all. Ten minutes later. Mrs. Kasanoin! I mean, Mrs. President! I'm truly sorry for what I've done! What? P president Yes! I'm a company president. W what do you mean? Lately, my father, the refreshing conglomerate, bought the company you work for and asked me to manage this company. As for me, I wanted to just be the owner of this restaurant, but... What? So you mean you're the daughter of the unparalleled refreshing conglomerate? <laughs> Please don't fire me, Mrs. President. Please don't fire me. I don't think I'm the one you should be apologizing to. Misa, I'm very sorry. See, I've, I've already apologized to Misa. Do you think that this is a problem that can be solved by apologizing? Our company doesn't need people like you. I want to work with people who are able to wish on other people's happiness, just like the people of Emerald Restaurant. Because employees who get jealous and harass other employees are like cancer cells to the company. <gasps> but, but... You should pay full price for the cancellation fee. 
The manager of this restaurant looks cute right now, but he is truly scary when he gets angry. And you will be in great trouble if you don't pay. With that said, I will never lose a cent to pay the money properly. That will be two million dollars, including alimony to Misa. What? Two million dollars? That will be five hundred dollars each if there are forty people. You can pay that amount, right? No, I think that's too much. You made fun of us, the Gossip Clan! So you will have to pay the price! What? The Gossip Clan? Could it be that you are all gangmen? Yeah, exactly! Oh my! I will pay! Let me pay! So please! Just like that, Mrs. Hiramoto and the prospective employees ended up having to pay for the cancellation fee and alimony for me. On top of that, Mrs. Hiramoto got fired. The prospective employees cried and got abolished. Rumors about what Mrs. Hiramoto and the prospective employees did circulated in the whole industry, with no one wanting to hire them. They ended up living miserably. As for Mrs. Hiramoto... <sighs> I'm... I'm exhausted! Hey! Stop being idle and get to work! I... I can't do this anymore! Hey, Ganta! This woman over here is not working! Throw this woman inside the dishwashing machine. Aye, aye, sir! Understood! I will work, just I will stop being idle, just put me down already! She was hired by the Emerald Restaurant, and it looks like she will be forced to renew herself from the core. Also, the food prepared for that day was not wasted. Tsubaki, me, and the rest of the people at Emerald Restaurant finished everything. I feel like Tsubaki was the one who ate most of the food. I wonder where that food went in that slim body. By the way, I later learned that Mrs. Tsubaki, the manager, fell in love. The food was made by Chef Masamune, who started the restaurant. I think I heard someone say something about a gang. Uh, did I hear right? Could they be gang members? <laughs> there, there's no way they are. But this is a huge problem. We don't have customers. We need to make you guys prettier! No, stop it! Please don't! Inazuka, Sobaki is the owner of this restaurant! She is like a mother to us! We shouldn't disobey her! But... Misa, do you have any good ideas in mind? What do you think we should add? How about you subtract something instead of adding? All we have to do is erase their scary part. Ugh. I wonder what should be subtracted to erase their scariness, hmm. Subtract? <gasps> oh, I have a good idea. Father, I feel like something bad is about to happen. Me too, I feel the same way too. But we have no choice but to follow her orders. One week later. W wow, business is booming. It's all thanks to you, Misa. Thank you very much. Tsubaki's idea, uh, that is... Welcome. W welcome. Come. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hey, Kashira and Inazuka, say it louder! Heiji is right! Shout from your diaphragm! Uh, welcome! Heiji, why are you so into this? <laughs> That's because I can show off these muscles to everyone. Hey, isn't that just a t-shirt with someone's muscular body printed on it? <laughs> so you notice. Take it off now! Oh no! I'm being chased! <laughs> Great! The plan is to subtract as much as we can is a success! Never have I ever thought that you will turn this into a macho bar. I don't want anyone to know that you're related to me. I understand how you feel. Ah, it's time for the pose! Everyone, pose! Everyone, let's do this thing. One, two... Wow! Just like that, the issue is closed, I think. Well, after that incident, I got promoted to the section chief, so I guess it turned out for the best. Also, I now have something to look forward to in my life. <laughs> Mr. Masamune! Inazuka! Ryu! Look over here! Huh?